Welcome to Kermode Uncut. If you're a regular viewer, you'll know that over the course of the years, the shape of this blog has kind of changed. We've experimented with doing new things. One of the things we've done recently is a couple of interviews with Alex Cox and Mark Cousins, both of whom were former presenters of the Movie Drone TV series. Some great responses about those interviews. I want to read you just some of those responses. This is from Frank Foley. Hi, Mark. I love these new set of interviews you've undertaken. Alex Cox has always been a favorite of mine and rarely seen him interviewed. Along with the Mark Cousins interview, which is also great, they bring a load more insight into filmmaking on top of your own comments, which I enjoy just as much. Please try and make these interviews a regular feature if you can. Well, you'll be pleased to know that we've got already in the bag more interviews with Alex Cox and Mark Cousins, which you can see over the summer, along with some great stuff from Greg Proot. However, back to the subject of your comments. This from son of Babyface Michael about that interview with Alex Cox and his book. I really need to show this to a few people. I've been a student for the last three years and virtually every student director I know thinks of themselves as a one-man band, that they can do everything that the crew do, but usually better. It annoys me so much that people I've had to work with are like this, but I can't help thinking that it's our society that drives this mindset home and I'm left wondering why. Now, a number of you picked up on Alex Cox's point about the auteur theory and the fact that actually all films are a collaboration. Although he did say he believed in the idea of the auteur, but just not the practical nature of it. This is from Larry76. Alex's point about The Wizard of Oz's multiple directors brings to mind a more recent example, The Lord of the Rings. For besides Peter Jackson, there were no less than three second unit directors, various producers shot scenes, and even Andy Serkis directed himself in one as Gollum. For all of that, The Lord of the Rings is some of the most masterfully put together films in the history of cinema. This underlines Alex's point about editing and also the point of the auteur, as Jackson had to bring all the various pieces together and this he did with a great triumph. I think one of the things I like most about Alex Cox's book is that he's very honest about the way his own filmmaking process works and about the disparity between the way that critics sometimes see cinema and the practitioners see the medium. On to a couple of comments about Mark Cousins' interview. He was in to talk about I Am Belfast. Brian from the New Forest says, I'll watch this soon, available through streaming as well as DVD. Good point, well made. Cousins is definitely a cinematic poet. I feel this will bear some comparison with Terence Davis's essays on his hometown of Time in the City, which is very well liked in this parish. While I've often disagreed with Cousins the critic and found his monumental The Story of Films at times shot through with poetic conjecture over fact, I think he's a sterling filmmaker. I think that point about poetic conjecture and fact is well made, but personally what I love about what Mark Cousins does is exactly the poetry, the fact that he talks about movies as if he's talking about poetry or any other form of great art. Listening to him is a real treat, and many of you picked up on that. This from Mark of Cain, the tone and delivery of Mark Cousins' voice sits perfectly with the images being shown. So as I said before, I'm very glad that your responses to those interviews were so positive. And of course, more interviews coming over the summer. Stay tuned.